So this is lesson 1.6, order of operations. We have practiced with our integers, addition and subtraction, positive and negative numbers, multiplication and division, and now it's time to put it all together into more challenging problems. Uh, it means we're going to have multiple operations within, a, within a, a single problem and have to do things in the right order in order to get the right answer, hence order of operations. So in solving a problem that has more than one operation, it is important what order you perform the operation in. Go ahead and take 30, 40 seconds to fill in that bed mass chart that you have on the right side of your page as best you can. All right, so you should have brackets. Whenever you come to a problem and there's brackets, that means those values and operations are grouped together. You have to deal with them first before you do anything with the whole group, before you do anything outside that group. Then we're looking at exponents, exponents. Then we're looking at division and multiplication. They are a group. And when we have division and multiplication, we do those in order. Can you do multiplication before From division or no? Left, you have to, right. So is it like multiplication first, then you multiplication first, division? And after we've taken care of division and multiplication, we move on to addition and subtraction. And the same rule applies there. We're going to do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Well, let's try a couple of examples. <clears throat> so in example one, we have 2 times 15 minus 18. So right away, you're going to notice that there are brackets in this problem. That means they're a group. We have to deal with this whole value first. So we're going to rewrite our problem. It's going to be 2 times, as you said, negative 3. Now we come down and we don't have any exponents. We don't have division. We simply have multiplication. 2 negative times 3 six. with one negative factor. Thanks. Negative 6. Example 2. Example two is a little bit longer. It has seven minus three times four squared plus 10. There's a lot going on here. I see an exponent, I see a brackets, that's a group. I see subtraction and multiplication. What are we gonna do first? The We're gonna take care of what's inside the bracket first. So I'm just gonna rewrite what's not inside the bracket. Now, even inside the bracket, we have a decision to make. What is that decision? Right, we have addition and we have an exponent, so we need to do the exponent first. 4 squared, and if we're not sure what 4 squared is, we can go off to the side. 4 squared is just 4 times 4, which is 16. Then we have plus 10. You could definitely do that all in one step, just don't make a mistake. Okay? Uh, now, which, what are we working on next? What's our next part here? Brackets. So I'm going to rewrite everything again outside the bracket. Inside the bracket, what do we have? 26. 26. Lovely. Oh, now we have subtraction and multiplication left. Multiplication. We're down here. Yep, we've taken care of our brackets, exponent, and now we're doing multiplication. So we've got 7 minus 3 times 26. 78. And the last operation left is 7 minus minus 78. Oh, you have to multiply three first. Which if you're not yeah, sure, you could go to your number line. You're starting at seven and you're moving to the left, 78. That's gonna leave you at negative 71. Your practice problems are there on page seven. You can do some for practice problems for lesson 1.6. Order of operations can be found on page 75 and we'll do numbers one through 42. Enjoy. Enjoy.